this is Sarah with RegisterNurseOriental.com and today I want to talk to you about the difference between an ADN and a BSN degree. On my website I get a lot of questions about an associate's degree in nursing and a bachelor's degree in nursing. Many people are confused about which degree they should get, if it will limit them if they get an ADN versus a BSN between the ADN and the BSN degree today. Um, an ADN degree is, stands for an associate's degree in nursing. It usually takes about two years to get. Um, you can complete it at a community college and it is, tends to be a little bit cheaper than compared to the bachelor's degree. The BSN, it stands for Bachelor's Degree of Science in Nursing. It takes usually about four years to complete and you complete this at the university level. So what's the big difference between the ADN and BSN? The big difference is the amount of schooling you have to go for. Um, are you, if you complete both degrees, are you both a registered nurse? Because some people are confused on that. If you complete an ADN and a BSN, yes, you're you're a registered nurse. Each candidate, they take the NCLEX RN exam. They take the same exam. They don't have different questions. It's the same exact exam. They pass. They become a registered nurse. So, is there a difference in pay between an ADN and a BSN? This depends on where you live. Whenever I started out, I have a bachelor's degree and I was hired on with associate degree nurses. We made the same exact amount of money starting out. Um, the only way that this varies is now, since I've been a nurse for a while, I get a different pay raise compared to a nurse who has an associate's degree. It's just a little different percentage. So yes, it may vary as you get more experience. Um, so should you get an ADN or a BSN? Which one's better? Really, one's not better than the other. It really depends on you and what goals you have for yourself. I have precepted many students. Um, I've precepted students who say, well, I just want to work as a nurse. I really don't have any desires to go into management, to go into teaching, to go to nurse practitioner, anything like that. I just want to work as a nurse in the clinical setting. Getting an ADN is the best way to do it. Also, if um, you already have another degree and you've always wanted to be a nurse, um, the ADN may be better for you because it's cheaper. You may have loans, so you won't have to go to school as long, and it'll be a little bit cheaper compared to the bachelor's. Um, I've also precepted students who say, I want to work as a nurse for a while to get experience, but I want to go back to school to become a nurse practitioner. I want to go to CRNA school. I want to become a nurse manager one day. I suggest to them, get your bachelor's degree because this will help get you there. It'll help form the foundation of where you got to go because if you want to go to nurse practitioner school, you have to go get your bachelor's degree and then you have to go for your master's degree. So you might as well get the bachelor's degree so you don't have to go and do what's called the bridge program, the ADN to the BSN. So that is a little bit of the difference between an ADN and BSN. Again, there's really no huge difference. It really depends on your goals and what you want to do. So if you have any questions about the ADN, BSN, or you're still confused, come to my website, registerednursern.com, go to the forum, and Feel free to ask any questions. I'll help answer your questions. I know, and I know other nurses and nursing students will as well. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share it with all your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.